Another common technique in practice is pachymetry. Uh, that's useful for measuring the corneal thickness. The most obvious reason for using that would be in your glaucoma patients, where you want to check the corneal thickness, because as you know, the apination thermometers are all calibrated on roughly 530 microns of cornea. And if the cornea is not 530 microns, then the machines are all going to be slightly off and you want to make sure you can adjust either up or down. In that case, you're using it in central corneal thickness and that would be the most obvious way to use it. You can also use it though for keratoconic patients when you want to measure the cone at the centre to see how thin it's getting there and see if it's getting to this, the, the dangerous stage. And you might want to use it for Fuchs patients so you can make sure that the corneas are not growing too thick and see how the disease is progressing. Or in fact, if somebody's got an ulcer or various different degeneration and you want to just to see if there's different thicknesses in different parts of the cornea and you don't have access to an OCT or a shine flug. So in that case, we'll be using pachymetry to measure the corneal thickness. So pachymetry is fairly easy to use, very easy to hold and operate. You basically hold it like you were holding a pen, touch it against the person's eyes and then just read the readout and see what it says and it gives you an average value and it's a very straightforward thing to do. So we're going to pachymetry. In this case, we're going to measure central corneal thickness. This is probably a typical case in practice. You've measured the, the pressure by apination. You want to check the corneal thickness to see if the machine's going to be accurate in the first place and to assess the independent risk factor for glaucoma, ocular hypertension. All the machines, all the instruments have calibrated and they give you a, a nomogram you can look up and see how much pressure to add on or take off, but they are just guides. The average corneal thickness is going to be between 530 and 550. The Goldmans are, at, are calibrated at 530. So anything thinner than 530 increases your risk of developing glaucoma, and anything over about 580 or 590 will increase your risk of developing glaucoma. So measure the corneal thickness. First thing we'll do is put a bit of anaesthetic in the eye just to see what the, the corneal thickness is. So if you look up to the ceiling, we dribble that in. So if you just look straight ahead, just pull the bottom lid out of the way, centre yourself up, make sure you're nicely in the middle. Nice tight beeps, and there's your values. And that's 568 microns. That's a nice healthy cornea. Standard deviation is 2.9, which is a nice low figure. And again, that was indicated by the nice close proximity of the beeps, which means it was an accurate meter reading. If the beeps had been wider apart or less stable, you'd have had a much wider standard deviation and maybe you'd have to do it again just to get your accuracy a bit better. Mm -hmm.